It is finally here, the day that we can reap the final rewards, I think, of Andon, the custom delivery client person. It is Tuesday, the 31st of January, the last day of January. And I'm handing in my last item. So there's going to be a cutscene. We're going to skip past that. I'm going to see what the rewards are. I'm very excited about this one. Okay. All I can say from that quest was, yeah, make sure you don't skip the cutscenes on that one. So <laughs> let's look at the final rewards from this. And since we've got lots of cookies and things like that, we can, of course, I believe we can also do another delivery, right? This week. I think we can. Oh, wait, there's another quest. Oh. Okay, let's go do this one then. Uh, I, yeah, just what a fantastic quest line this has actually been. Oh my goodness. So the rewards then, we get two rewards from this. Custom delivery clients are becoming some of my favorite content added to this game, especially since we got El Toe before in, you know, the Ishgard restoration with that particular turn in. We get ourselves both the Leafman headpiece, <sighs> which is a glamour piece for level one and above. <laughs> uh, so we can make ourselves look like a leafman and we also have the and in the third horn when blown this sheep's horn emits a muted and somewhat confused sound that brings and in the third rustling to your side oh my goodness let's have a look at these items whilst we are here of course um not only do we have a custom deliveries client complete now but we also have access to some other stuff originally we knew that there was going to be new ad items added to the um the bicolor gemstone stuff we didn't know where that would be uh because it said in the patch notes but it turns out we can get the card of anden now for 60 bicolor gemstones as well so whilst you're coming to do your day uh, you know your weekly and uh, to get your mount reward and helm don't forget to pick yourself up a card as well um you might as well to add that to your collection and of course that's what the card looks like if you're interested in the stats even though you know for collection purposes it doesn't really matter but that's number 356 it's a two star card with seven four one and six it says if i had hands i'd give myself a smart wrap on the head to get the blood flowing or sap flowing, as it were. Excellent stuff. Let's go look at the other rewards now. All right, I think the first thing to look at very clearly is the helm. Um, this is what this looks like. Excuse my horribly crowded inventory. I've been farming stuff. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> it's exactly what I imagined it would look like. Let's take the chest piece off for a second because the leaves were kind of clipping a little bit into my character. Um, so we can get a better view of this. And we'll... Uh, We'll turn off other people because I'm sure they'll be flapping around in the background. So this is what it looks like. I mean, there's not really too much to talk about. It is a Leafman head. It's probably one of the funniest sort of like mascot additions to the game. Very similar to the other, you know, the, the, when we used to call them Beast Tribe, the Beast Tribe helms and things like that. This is just... It's perfect, isn't it? It is absolutely perfect. And I suppose you could make quite a convincing ghillie suit. What we really need is like a chest piece with the set, uh, made with the same leaves in the future. Like a full-bodied outfit and we could sneak up on people. That would be fantastic. But yeah, there's a lot of storyline and, and yeah, just hilarity built into this. I can't wait to see what people come up with with this. And I'm sure it will be gloriously horrifying. The other thing to look at then, is it diable? I believe it is. It's not diable. That's unfortunate. I would have liked the ability to change the color of the leaves, but you know, you, you can't have everything, can you? Right, let's put our clothes back on. <laughs> uh, put our, our leaf helm on, because we've got to look the part. And uh, let's have a look at this mount together, since it's still kind of daytime where I am, might as well. Let's, uh, let's learn this horn. I'm very excited about this one. Oh, look at it. It's brilliant. Summon fourth and in the third. It has a mouth, but it cannot scream. Oh, dear. In gratitude for your kindness, the pixie Otier gifted you this peculiar ambulatory plant, which they created from the leaves of the original Andon after pruning him. While it resembles its namesake, it lacks the power of speech, and there is no telling what thoughts lie behind its permanently horrified expression. The hidden text says, Kind-hearted as we pixies are, we decided to turn him into a lovely leafman. A quote there of the sheep-obsessed pixie. What a fantastic addition to our collection. And of course, the funniest thing about this is every mount 
has a footprint and they all make sense and then the leafman is just a bush it's just a bush print <laughs> i'm not sure what i was expecting but that's fantastic all right let's drop this onto our um onto our bars and have a look at this one then so this is what you did all of that work for so the rustling noise when you summon it let's do a, a quick walk animation with this <laughs> the way it shuffles oh it's so good it is such a good mount and then run animation <laughs> i love it i absolutely love it i kind of want the oh it's sort of interesting with some of the textures around here because they're not even uh <laughs> i kind of want this guy as a mount next though if we're gonna go to whole leafman hog can we can we get all of the leafman all of the all of the things i want too many things Fran, you're looking absolutely fine with your Leafman gown. <laughs> looking fantastic, as usual. Right, let's have a look at some flight animations. Whee! Oh, and it has leaves that fall off. And sort of like a wind thing going on here. And there's its glide animation. It's truly horrific, isn't it? If you were a new player coming into the game and you saw this whizzing around in Central Shroud... You'd be both confounded and horrified, wouldn't you? What is that, you'd say? And that's 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 the beauty of mounts in this game, isn't it? The more elaborate or stupid or weird they get, the better, I think. It's such a good variety of mounts, and I hope they continue to make even more just crazy things. So one of the things... Um, oh, yeah, that, that's, that's the bottom of it. Interesting. It looks a bit strange, doesn't it? So one of the things you might be questioning is what does the mount music do? Is there any exclusive music? No. No, I'm afraid not. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. I was kind of hoping that we would have, I don't know, the, the tribal theme for the Pixies or something. But no, generic mount music, unfortunately. Sorry to say. But yeah, it is a really cool mount. What more can I ask for, really? Hopefully, custom delivery clients continue to be just as thrilling as they have been in the last two expansions. And of course, there's probably going to be more, right? As we go forward, hopefully. Um, you know, what would you like to see? Who could the next custom, del uh, custom delivery client be? I guess it would be someone in Endwalker, right? So, we've... I don't know. Maybe, like an ancient or something and then we get like a mount of a, of a prehistoric beast or something i don't know either way i hope it's just as funny as this story because they've gone out of their way to make this sort of content my favorite type of content in the game both the tribal content uh the quests and of course these custom delivery of things that they're just fantastic anyway from me thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day go get this one uh, if you've kept up with your weeklies, if not, then look forward to getting this next week or perhaps the week after. But definitely go and do it because the EXP is well worth your time. Much love and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Leafman, away! Whee!